So I just cut myself, like literally just now. <laughs> so disregard this band-aid. Let's act like it's not here. Hey you guys, so today we're gonna swatch some of CoverGirl's new True Blend Matte Made Foundation. They sent me this amazing PR box filled with all 40 shades and today I'm gonna swatch some of them to give you an idea of the shade range. BTW, if you guys have never seen this face before, hey you guys, my name is Hannah Bell and I love makeup and creating. Come shop with me videos, feature my favorite beauty and fashion related stores and also trying out new and amazing makeup. If that is your jam, I hope you guys join the family. Press the subscribe button down below and tap the bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. <laughs> Alright you guys, without any further ado, let's get on with the video. So I did do a whole unboxing, but I filmed it earlier. So if you guys want to see it, inserting the clips now. I filmed with this foundation already in another video, so that's why I already unboxed it and everything. So CoverGirl did it again. They sent me another big box, so let's unbox it. Whoa, okay. Can we get a little, get a little peek? <laughs> Alright, I think I might have to do it this way. Oh my gosh. You guys, this box is so pretty. It is so... Whoa, it's heavy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's heavy. It is CoverGirl's A New True Blend Matte Made Foundation, inspired by the infinite made for you. This is heavy. I thought I went to the gym earlier today. Oh my god, look! Ah! <laughs> okay. Look at this. Okay, you kind of see my setup right now. Let's uh, embrace it. <laughs> wow, do you see this? <gasps> Look at this big box and then they gave me a mirror. So they gave me this little booklet that tells me about the foundation. This new foundation, True Blend Matte Made, minimizes your pores, controls the shine, feels comfortable on your skin, and stays put for up to 12 hours. 12 hours, okay. And there's 40 shades. Okay, cover girl. Okay, cover girl. They also gave us this beautiful poster, which I literally might hang up on my wall <laughs> because I'm a proud mama. You go, cover girl. You go, drugstore makeup. And then now for the final reveal, cover girl. Oh my gosh, this is so heavy. <laughs> oh my gosh. <gasps> Duh. Whoa. And they gave me primers. Ooh. Look at. So my idea for these swatches, I noticed CoverGirl had separated the foundation into four groups. The first group being light, the next group being medium, and the third group being tan, and the last group being deep. So instead of swatching all 40 shades, because I think that would be super boring for you guys, what I'm going to do is swatch the lightest shade of the light and the darkest shade of the light, I was going to say dark, so it can kind of give you an idea of the variation of all of these shades. And again, I'm going to do the same for medium, tan, and deep. So you guys can see the amazing shades that CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation has to offer. So I just put a headband on off camera because you gotta see my cheeks, my chubby cheeks. <laughs> so I'm going to take L10, which is the lightest shade for the light group and L90, which is the darkest shade of the light group. The lightest one is called Fair Porcelain, and the darkest one is called Classic Beige. Just in case you're wondering, I'm gonna take a toothpick, actually, to swatch all the foundations, because I don't wanna use my hands or my brush. I'm trying to keep it clean, people. So here's the lightest shade. Here comes the dark shade for the light group. Oh, wow. So here's the lightest shade, and here's the darkest shade for the light group. Now let's move to the next group, medium. So the lightest shade is M10, shade Golden Natural. And the darkest shade for medium is M90 in the shade Perfect Beige. So here's the lightest shade for medium. And here's the darkest shade for medium. 
So now for the next group, tan. Now if you guys have a similar skin tone as me, this is probably going to be your group. I found my foundation to be actually T20, if you have the exact shade as my skin tone. T20 is your shade. All right, so I took T10, which is in the shade Golden Amber, and then I took T90, which is in the shade Tawny Fauve. Here's the lightest shade. It's definitely got a yellow undertone, and I think that's why it's called tan. That's a range. <laughs> that is a range. So here's the darkest shade for tan. Before I forget to mention, if you guys want to see how this foundation looks on my face, how it wears, I will link that video in one of these corners. I don't know which one, but it's in one of these corners. Now moving to the last group, but certainly not least, Deep. So I took D10, which is the lightest shade in Golden Caramel, and then D90, which is in the shade Espresso, which is the darkest shade, and I love the name of this shade because your girl could use an espresso right now. She's a little tired, so yeah. So here's the lightest shade for the Deep group. Now for the darkest shade. Look at that range. Wow. wow. Okay, cover girl. I know I've clapped so many times, but seriously. Just in case you guys are curious like I am, I'm actually going to swatch L10, the lightest shade of all four groups, Fair Porcelain, and the darkest shade of all four groups. Espresso D90 and see how they compare. So starting with the lightest shade, Fair Porcelain. Wow. Okay, okay. I'm impressed, cover girl. I am impressed. All right, you guys, well, that concludes the video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a good thumbs if you did. And I hope you guys found this video super helpful and it gave you an idea of this shade range for CoverGirl's True Blend Matte Made Foundation. If you guys want to purchase this foundation, it is slowly making its way to all the drugstores, but it is available at your local Walmart. You can also buy it online on Amazon.com, like that is crazy. CoverGirl has their own page on Amazon, and I will leave that link down below. Well, I love you guys so much and hope to see you in my next video. Bye!